Is it trend food bad for the environment? Let's discuss. Hi, my name is Emil Faiz, J178A0018. So today I will discuss about the case studies. So I begin by explaining the case study that I have chosen. This study is focused to assess the environmental impacts of the cane sardines in olive oil by using life cycle assessment. The study is concerned in based in Portugal and aluminium cane pads in packaging. So I have divided my presentation in three main parts. The first is manufacturing process, second is the impacts to the environment and third is the overcome to the issues. So let's go. First, I will be looking into the manufacturing process. You can see at the video, it begins with pre-canning, fishing, then freezing. The cooking step is to reduce the moisture and inactivate endogenous enzyme activity. And it can be done in two different ways. The first one is the raw pack method, where sardines are cooked in the can. It's known as modern method. And second one is the sardines can be cooked before being packed into the can. So this is called a traditional method. So in this video, they use a modern method. The difference between this method is the, in the cooking phase, where the modern, modern method is the faster and decrease the production cost. Uh, next, it will be sterilizing, labeling, storage, and transportation to the consumer. After that, I will go to on the environmental impact assessment. The production of both cans and olive oil are the most important process in the consider in impact categories. As you can see the figure in the slide, you can see the dominates in all impact categories there. So the production of olive contributes to the high environmental load to the, of olive oil related to cultivation and harvesting. Uh, the production of aluminium cans led to all impact categories, especially especially in a global warming potential. Finally, I will offer some solutions, which are the first one is minimize waste of uh, olive oil during the canning processing, and second is replacing the aluminium can with plastic because greenhouse gas emissions are reduced by half when plastic packaging is considered greater than aluminium. In a conclusion, frozen and fresh sardines are represent much lower environmental impacts than canned sardines. Nevertheless, canned sardines provide edible proteins of a small pledged fish which is difficult to preserve if based on a sustainable fishery supply for the human consumption. So that's all, thank you. I will pass to the my next meal. Modern manufacturing is the wooden chair made up from timber. This is the life cycle of timber chair. First step is receiving the timber. The timber was received from a timber storage area and checked properly. For the second process is timber cutting and molding. In this process, timber is selected and cut crosswisely. For the third step is the component fabrication. In this process, the molded timber is processed by using a different wood working machine according to its design. And then, all of the component is sanded properly to round all of the sharp edge and smooth the surface. So for the fourth process is the assembly operation. In this process, all of the components are assembled together according to the drawing and the design. Process is the finishing and packaging process. In this, in this process, all of the assembled parts are dipped into a thick oil and dry to get the brown finishing. And the last process is delivery, the delivery process. This is the finishing timber chair and wood waste can be recycled to make wood pellet. Back on environment from chair production process is first air pollution from wooden dust, odor, and other particulates. A way to overcome this issue is by sweep regularly or use a vacuum, industrial vacuum cleaner to reduce dust. And the next impact is water pollution from user solvent. A way to overcome this issue is by keeping the chemicals properly in a covered storage area. The another impact is noise pollution. A way to mitigate this issue is by shielding and muffling all the noisy equipment and machinery. Hi, my name is Nadira Menti Abifata. My product is Wash. So I am going to explain to you the process of manufacturing of an analog code. So there are four steps of the process. The first one is inner components of analog code wash. The inner component of the brain of the wash, controlling all of the function. The accuracy of analog wash is determined by how each basis each individual component is when manufactured and fitted together. This including movement, batteries, dye and rubber gasket. The second one is manufacturing the case. It is important to ensure quality in the manufacture in the case is protect the movement and dye of a wash. 
to begin untreated metal alloy retrieved from another factory are used to form the shape of the casing left thereafter receiving treatment to look as good as new. Next, assembly and packaging. After all this have been complete, the case will be sent to the assembly team. The assembly team is responsible for putting together the inner component of the wash measured early along with, or with its track and back cover. The last one is quality control. Usually, most factory conduct quality control inspection for at least three times. The main part of the wash are delicate, so most wash factories will design it a whole department for quality control to ensure quality. The most serious impact on the environment is noise pollution, atmospheric pollution and contribute to global warming that come from office transport and packaging. There are several ways of curbing this negative effect such as implementing a mobility plan to reduce the amount of transport generated by the company activity. There are several stages in the production and sealing of a high-end mechanical wash. Each of these must be assessed for its environmental impact, then the term and order of purity for two stages whose impact can be reduced. This life cycle assessment investigates and evaluates the environmental impact of a product at every stage. Hence, it alternative name of grade to grave analysis. It goes from the extraction of raw material to the energy consumed to produce part and recycling of the product at the end of its life cycle. Hi, my name is Laslin. I am from SBT3. So, the production of spirulina tablets involve four stages including algae cultivation stage, algae powder production, tablet manufacturing, and waste disposal. The algae cultivation stage causes the highest environmental impact among all production stage. It requires large amount of nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, carbon dioxide, light, water, and salts. And this leads to extensive use of energy and chemicals. Then, algae powder production involves a series of dewatering and drying process. At first, fresh water was pumped to vast the algae cells to eliminate excess salts. Then, heat and oxygen is exposed to the algae biomass to minimize the drying time. The water collected in this stage contains many medium and was recycled back to open ponds to reduce mediums and water use in the cultivation stage. Tablet manufacturing involves a series of tablet manufacturing process where algae powder, microcrystalline cellulose, may starch, and electricity is the input in this stage. The disposal of waste is the final stage in the production of spirulina tablets. The residual diluted algae culture broth and tank cleaning wastewater were discharged into fish ponds as fish cultivation nutrients. And small amount of algae residual paste produced during the harvest stage was processed to animal feed. The input and output in the production of spirulina tablets is shown in this table. So, in general, spirulina tablets production will cause environmental impacts such as ozone depletion, global warming, smoke formation, acidification, eutrophication, and fossil fuel use. Hence, to decrease the cost and environmental impact of algae production, several strategies such as reactor design improvement, use of renewable energy, and recycle of carbon dioxide may be considered. Okay, so hi, my chosen product for this life cycle assessment is OPG. So we will start with the raw material in the production phase. This hoodie is a 100% cotton and this cotton is made from Pakistan. Okay, so next we will move on to the industrial phase that consisting of the processing, manufacturing, packaging, transportation and distribution. Okay, so step one. The cotton is harvested in a country that grows it, such as Pakistan. Step 2. The cotton is sent to factories so it can be made to treat. Step 3. The pulse of cotton is sent to another type of factory so it can be sewn into the clothing. And the step 4 is the transportation. After the hood is animated, it is transported to clothing stores around the world to be sold. So, so the output of this phase is camera dioxide emission, 
time for examination, continue to respiratory and the fluid, and etc. So next is the consumer feed. After the hoodies are delivered to stores, consumers will buy them for use. Okay, so the potential impact of this phase is the global warming since it will reduce the carbon emission by washing or ironing and the photochemical smoke formation. Okay, so the last phase in this life cycle assessment is the disposal phase which is consisting either could be collection, landfilling or Initiation. So the goodies could be donated to others, reused as a different set of clothing, recycled, or even thrown away by the consumer. So the potential impact of this phase is the soil and groundwater pollution and atmospheric contamination. I'm going to explain about the life cycle of magazine. The production process of magazine involves several steps that are often carried out simultaneously by all who contribute to the final product, including the editorial and advertising department, the printer and the circulation department. Magazines are printed on coated paper. Coated paper is mostly wood fiber, like most paper, but has a layer of clay applied over the top. The clay fills in the space between the wood fiber and create paper that is smooth to the touch and has color photograph. Before the production manager gives the material to the printer, the printer has already scheduled press time, order paper and make any preparation possible. As soon as the printer receives the material, the press process begins. Any final color adjustment to the image will be made at this time. After the magazine page are printed and dry, they will be fold, trimmed, bound and made ready for distribution. The impact of magazine to the environment is the printed magazines use several pounds of paper since each issue requires several pages. The magazine industry uses large amount of paper every month to send out issues for consumer. Fees are a great resource to decrease the amount of carbon dioxide. Therefore, decreasing the trees does not help the environment. At the end of a magazine's life, a magazine may be left in a landfill producing large amount of waste. So, there are few suggestions to overcome the issue. Firstly, reduce. Instead of relying on paper, digital magazines rely on electricity because they are stored on server they are constantly on. Digital magazine does not use any paper, so many consumers believe that digital magazine will save forests. The, uh, the public generally assume that digital magazine, magazines are healthy to the environment. Second, reuse. You can crumple up the printed magazine for the use of packing material when storing valuable or shipping fragile items. Lastly, you can make some funny things with magazine which cannot be recycled, such as paper bead, paper flower, and garbage can. You may also able to use the magazine as wrapping paper. I'm Lois Nimagiswaran, J17A0124 from SPT3. The product that I choose is battery. Battery are the electrochemical cell which converting chemical energy into electrical energy. Example of batteries are magnesium, zinc carbon, lead acid, lithium ion and so on. Okay, let's move to the manufacturing process. The manufacturing process are mixer, coating, compressing, drying, puncture, assembly, filling, aging, grading, and last is packing. Next, this is the system boundary for the life cycle assessment of battery. The inputs are materials which are lead, antimony, copper, sulphide, tin, ion, and so on. And the energy are coal, electricity, diesel, natural gas. The output of the life cycle are gas emission which can be carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide and so on. Weights could be solids and effluent. And lastly is human toxicity pollutants which is lead. The process are material preparation, material assembly, transportation, regeneration and it could also produce secondary product. 
and the uses for battery are bikes and vehicles. The impacts on the environment are first is depletion of natural resources where production, transportation and distribution of batteries consumes natural resources. Next is air pollution. Batteries emit exhaust and other pollutants into the atmosphere cause climate change and global warming. Then water pollution. Armful chemicals of batteries found in rivers can affect ecosystem and human health. Lastly is soil pollution. Most toxic chemicals of batteries end up in landfills instead of being recycled are absorbed by the soil. Finally, the suggestion to overcome these issues are recycle, reuse and reduce the batteries. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Loshni Ganesan from SBT3. I'm here going to present about the suggested product from myself, which is tire. Life cycle of tire at beginning, extracting the material from the earth. Then follow the tire will manufacture with rubber, carbon black and some chemicals to harden it. And it can be used for the vesicle once it's done. After it's done, it can be returned to the recycling area. So the manufacturing process of the tire, the needed raw material, the preparation, and tire components, and once the tire is built and it undergoes for the fuel inspection. So next is environmental impact by tire production. The first one is hair pollution, which causes industrial emission and human organism damage. When the humans inhale the odors gas from the pollution it will causes the allergies or asthma as well second one is thermal pollution uh, which causes the global climate change uh, because of discharge of heat water into the surface water and the temperature increases follow then the voc emission which it is a photochemically reactive and causes the depression of ozone layer followed by waste pollution which cause of discharge hazardous chemical to the surface and it will cause the loss of biodiversity. This uh, will lead to unbalance to the ecosystem and losing towards the aquatic organism. Not only that, it will contribute to eutrophication. So the last one is suggestion to overcome all the issues. First one, use ventilation system and dust collectors need to reduce for pollution. Second, the personal protection equipment create awareness for the workers. Hazardous waste can be divided into three landfill waste, recycle waste and also hazardous waste. And the thermal oxidizer used to destroy the VOC emission by combustion. Follow then utilize the less sulfur material uh, in vulcanization process. Then use biodegradable plastics to minimize the environmental pollution. And the last one is follow the rules and regulation. So I'm Sujan Shah Doctor and EE from Group 3. And the product that I'm going to present for the LCA assessment is earphone. The raw material that used in the earphone production are PVC, silicon plastic and ABS plastic for packaging and the aluminium coil for turning the data from audio player into audio music and electrical wiring. And the manufacturing process requires the additional machinery for assembly as well as human labor. And packaging that used is recycled cardboard which is environmental friendly um, besides it also designed to a smaller package to decrease the amount of material used. Um, while the distribution involves of transportation which requires fossil fuels. Okay, next the impact of the earphone to the environment. It will cause soil pollution and water pollution. This is because the PVC that used in the production will release the heavy metal into the building environment and will cause the neurological 
and development and reproductive damage if, didn't dip, if they didn't dip, dispose properly. Hence, to overcome this issue, there is a suggestion which is recycle the earphone properly instead of dispose it. Proper recycle of earphone able to reduce the demand of raw material, save energy, and hence con conserve the natural resources. Okay, that's all from me. Thanks, doctor, for listening to me. Okay, my name is Sagar Braski Smithy Barajaman. So today I'm going to present about life cycle assessment, which is my product is paper. So first, the life cycle of paper, as we know, it comes from the trees, which is uh, the woods from the trees. So we have to extract the woods. But before that, before we be uh, transported into the processing materials, the tree must be harvested and cut into a log, into a log form. And then we'll be cut again, in uh, chip again into a form of debarker form. And then after being transferred into a processing materials, it will be transferred a gate to making paper process, packaging, transport, and usage. So there is four steps in manufacturing process. The first one is preparation of raw materials, separation of fiber, bleaching process, and paper making procedure. So preparation of raw material is the debucket wood, but will be cheap in a cheaper, which is a machine uh, that is automatically will chip the woods. And they will screen according to the size and cleanliness and store and for a further process. So in the separation of fiber, and we keep a large digester. So inside the large digester, it have a steam. So this steam, uh, it has a specific temperature to separate the fiber. And then the product is a cook pump. So this cook pump will be the discharged into a pressure vessels and returned to the chemical recovery cycles. And then the pump is screened clean using the water. And then for bleaching process, we obviously you are using a lot of chemicals. So in this process, we use chlorination oxidation process where it will delinify the lignin from the cellulose. So for paper making procedure, the bleach or unbleached part will be further refined to cut the fiber and roughen the surface of the fiber. And then we will add water to the pups, to the pup slurry to make a thin mixture. And then the dilute slurry will be clean as cyclone cleaner and screen as centrifugal screens before being fed into the wet end of the paper forming machines. And then it will be in, uh, form, it will be put into the head box where the fibers slurry will be uniformly over the width of the paper sheet to be formed. So the impact of paper production to environment, obviously it is the air pollution, water pollution, paper waste, chlorine and chlorine based materials and also greenhouse emissions. So the solutions to overcome this problem, which is we have to maximize the recycled content, the clean production process, sustainable forestry, we have to minimizing the paper consumptions and the publishing using non-elemental clearing process. So that's all for me. Thank you. warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sharina Marina binti Muhammad Razi. Today we will discuss about the life cycle assessment of a pillow. So we go through about uh, manufacturing of the piece made out from the filling and also the fill inside and also the cover. And then the cover was made out from the co cotton cloth and then the fill made up from polyester so how to do man manufacturing of the pillow um, is the raw material come up from the uh, polyester which is the polyester is the uh, some polymer that need to take place in the vacuum with the high temperature so the energy that they use here is the heat energy and then the next step is filling machine filling machine is uh, we blow the polyester inside the pillow cover and then the next step is we bagging station which is we pack into the plastic and then ready to distribute recycling of pillow pillow can be uh, made up from polyester so the polyester can be used to make another goods uh, such as uh, stuffed animal, uh, toys, and then also pet pillow. Waste from manufacturing of pillow. The primary byproduct of polyester fillet pillow is metal belling band used to bundle and transport the polyester bud put from the manufacturing of pillow. Uh, because of we use the energy uh, heat energy so the emission of carbon dioxide uh, is occur because of the energy so the output for here is the 
carbon dioxide. For me, thank you. Hello, Shazana. J17B0039 from SPD3. And the product that I choose is um, face mask. So, face masks have become the symbol of the COVID-19 pandemic. Face masks are one to utilize for preventing the spread of disease. Face masks are loose fitting masks that um, cover the nose and mouth and have ear loops and bend at the back of the head. So there are many different brands and they come in different color. Um, it is important to use a mask um, utilized by FDA. So type of mask option available um, to the general public are based on the function we have um, cloth mask. This is cloth mask and we have surgical mask surgical mask and the 3M and 95 respirator and um, based on the usage is disposable either disposable or usable flowchart of face mask production starts with fabric procurement ultrasonic welding linking packing testing and storage so this is the system boundary for LCA of face masks of a single use mask and for the reusable mask with additional filter. For the input, it contains material and energy used during the manufacturing of face mask product and for the output, it consists of gas emission and waste. For the process, it starts with factory assessment, product testing, product inspection, technical advisory and transportation. And for the impact of face masks toward the environment, it increases the carbon footprint, contributes to marine pollution, causes higher climate change and increases plastic waste. So how to overcome this issue is by people should learn to dispose masks correctly, wash the mask regularly, microwave or simply bake in oven and so on. Hello, my name is Tarni Radhakrishnan. I am here to present about the life cycle assessment of a food container made up of plastic. Life cycle assessment is a cradle to grave or cradle to cradle analysis technique to assess the environmental impact associated with all the stages of a product's life. Firstly, I will be explaining the manufacturing process of the food container. The process starts with the resources extraction, where the raw material commonly used in the production of food packaging is polyethylene terephthalene is prepared. Then it will be followed by the material manufacture, where the mixing of the materials takes place. Next, package conversion, where the product will undergo processes like vacuum forming, injection molding, and labeling. To make the product into a specific shape according to its requirements. Then the product will be packed or sealed to prevent foreign matter from invading. The final product will be distributed to the customer for the use. After the use, the food containers will be disposed through the landfill or waste to energy. There are several impacts of the usage of food container on the environment. Dumping of plastic on land or landfilling plastic leads to abiotic and biotic degradation of the plastic where the plastic additives like plasticizer and heavy metals can leach and eventually percolate into the environment causing the soil and water contamination. Plastic debris which is floating on the ocean causes several impacts which leads to the reduction of movements, feeding and reproductive out ulcers and eventually death to the aquatic life like turtles, invertebrates and more. The degradation of plastic on water bodies is also caused water contamination. Open burning of plastic or plastic products releases pollutants like heavy metals and dioxins into the environment causing air pollution. Suggestions to overcome these issues are practicing a proper plastic waste disposal, collection, treatment and disposal will reduce the impact of plastic on the environment. Next, bioplastic or baggage products should be used as an alternative in reducing the usage of synthetic plastics. Efforts must be made to educate the general populace on the potential environmental and public health effect of pollution by plastic waste. So that's all from me. Thank you.